Good afternoon, this is Jake Wire with Blue Coast Realty here in River Lights, one of Wilmington's brand new communities along the Cape Fear River. And I'm here today because I wanted to talk to you really quickly about the pros and cons of living in a community like this with an HOA versus a home that doesn't have an HOA. So what I'm talking about here is the Homeowners Association. So here in the River Lights community, it probably has one of the stronger HOAs that's currently being developed. Um, offering a ton of amenities, very well maintained, all brand new. So a lot of people are opting to move into this community and I get a lot of questions about it. So I guess we'll start with the pros. So what you can see behind me is part of the common area here and some of the amenities in the rear. Um, so one of the major pros of living in a strong HOA is that the common areas are usually professionally maintained by the HOA. So you're gonna have professional landscapers coming through and fixing the, the landscaping, keeping the grass trimmed, the trees down, um, also maintaining the roads, things like that. So common area maintenance in an HOA is definitely one of the pros. The second one that I mentioned is the amenities. So an HOA like this in the River Lights community is gonna offer you a ton of amenities. So as you can see behind me, this is the clubhouse. Jim is back here. Uh, this is a man-made lake that's completely navigable by small boats. There's walkable trails that kind of connect the entire community. There's pocket parks. Um, this, this community actually has a pool with full water slides um, for the kids and, and playgrounds. So one of the big pros is the amenities that you get for your HOA. Um, so that's two of the pros. The third pro is a, one that maybe a lot of homeowners don't think of, and that is gonna be the protection of your property value. So what I mean by that is in an HOA, there's gonna be what they call CCNRs, which are the rules and regulations that basically control the community. Um, basically, it's gonna keep your neighbors and people in the community from doing things that might hurt overall property value, and you specifically, as an owner, uh, benefit from that. So for instance, some of the items that usually a CCNR will control are possibly the colors of homes, uh, keeping people from painting their house like a bubblegum pink, um, keeping people from long-term storage of RV and boats and driveways. Uh, there's a lot of rules and regulations and it varies wildly from HOA to HOA. So what I would recommend is if you are considering an HOA, go ahead and get a copy of those CCNRs, those rules and regulations. They're available to anyone that's considering possible purchase of a home in the area. Um, a lot of the communities will go ahead and post that online, so it's totally available. Um, if not, you can contact the HOA directly and request a copy be sent to you. So before making a decision that you're going to have to live with, make sure that you're good with the rules and regulations that you're going to have to be under. Um, let's go to the cons. So the cons, number one, has got to be the cost. So you have one more monthly bill to take care of. Um, here in the River Lights community, it's one of the higher HOAs, um, and it's about $250 a month. So you have an extra $250 a month that you need to work into your monthly bills. Um, and like I said, that varies wildly as well, and it really has to do with mostly the amenities and how much the HOA is involved in the community. So you can have much lower HOA dues. Um, I've seen $50 a month HOA dues, um, and they don't offer too much. It's usually just kind of, they take care of the mediums, they take care of street lights, and that's usually about it. Uh, something like this, where you're gonna have full-blown amenities, uh, you're gonna plan on paying, paying you know, closer to the 200 a month to 150 a month range here in the Wilmington area. So uh, the other negative um, is the rules and restrictions. So of course, what your neighbors have to follow, you also have to follow. So a lot of people don't like to be told or have a hard time wrapping their head around being told what they can and can't do with their own personal private property. So rules and regulations, if you are one of those people that wants to paint your color whatever color you want or you want to go ahead and be able to store your boat in the driveway for extended periods of time, um, make sure that your, your HOA does allow what you're looking for and you're okay with the rules and regulations that you're going to have to abide by as well. So I hope that's helpful. Um, you know, there's, there's pros and cons with living in an HOA and you know, you just got to decide if, if the rules that you're going to have to abide by and the monthly payments you're going to have to pay make sense for you. So if you have any questions about this video, HOAs in general, or any of the other videos I post, uh, contact me directly. Again, Jake Wire, Blue Coast Realty, and uh, hope you have a great day.